Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for January 9th, 2015. It is a Friday and another snowy one with uh, light snow moving through the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area this morning as temperatures are, well, it's a heat wave. It's out of the teens and into the 20s and lower 30s as we have a nice southwesterly wind ahead of a strong Arctic cold front. As you can see, temperatures are in the teens over western Pennsylvania. While we are in the mid to upper 20s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area, upper 20s to lower 30s in, over the New York City metropolitan area with that strong southwesterly wind. Enjoy the warm conditions while it lasts. It will not be lasting long as temperatures will crash by this afternoon and by tonight we're back into the teens and single digits by tomorrow morning. In the meantime, we have some light snow to deal with for this morning. Anywhere from a coating to an inch of snow is expected. Let's take a look at the latest radar. You can see we do have some bands of snow moving through the northern mid-Atlantic. Some of these snow bands are capable of a heavy burst or two, but for the most part, we're dealing with light snow here on and off throughout this morning until about noon, with the potential for coating to an inch of snow throughout the region. An isolated two inches of snow is possible, especially in some of these heavier batches that you're seeing here in Connecticut, the Hudson River Valley, and also along the Delaware Water Gap that also extends back towards central Pennsylvania. This disturbance will move quickly and by the time we get to noon skies will start to clear and temperatures will start to fall. On the latest surface map you can see our Arctic cold front still back here over the Great Lakes. This will rapidly move east today and move through the region by this afternoon and you'll know the difference as winds will shift from the southwest to the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour. In the meantime this morning, look for the winds from the southwest anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour gusting to 40 miles per hour in some locations, especially right along the coast. On the latest water vapor satellite picture, you can see that strong disturbance moving through the Ohio River Valley and the Great Lakes. It will continue to rapidly move to the east and exit out of the region. Thereafter, Arctic high pressure will be in control for the rest of the weekend with cold yet dry weather conditions for Saturday and Sunday. Then we're going to have to watch out for a rather robust disturbance right here and a polar disturbance up here that will interact for next week that could lead to a potential for a significant winter storm or a mist depending on how they interact over the next several days. On the infrared satellite picture you can see one very important point this disturbance is moving very quickly. Look how fast it moves from west to east here from the Great Lakes to the east coast in a very fast uh, manner. What this is basically telling me is that this is a very progressive low pressure system, one that will not be sticking around and thus the end for snow potential by noon today. Other than that, we're looking at a rather quiet weekend on the way. Let's take a look at our model guides from the Penn State E-Wall website. Here's the uh, European model guidance. Again, today our low pressure system moves through. Look for our high temperatures in the lower 30s throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. For tomorrow, Arctic high pressure will be in control, which will lead to clear skies and scattered cloud cover. A chance of a flurry or two is possible as well. Temperatures will range from the single digits to lower teens for lows tomorrow morning and only rebound into the upper teens to lower 20s by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. On Sunday, slightly warmer with our high pressure system moving off the coast. Look for scattered cloud cover for the most part. Temperatures range from the single digits to lower teens for lows, but high temperatures will rebound into the upper 20s to lower 30s. On Monday, an Arctic cold front will slowly move through the region. Look for periods of rain showers changing over to snow showers as the cold air builds in. Temperatures on Monday will range from the lower to mid 20s over the interior, mid to upper 20s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 30s throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. That hour cold front will move through, and by Tuesday, high pressure will be in control with scattered cloud cover, much chillier weather conditions, low temperatures in the upper teens to lower 20s, high temperatures in the lower to mid 20s over the interior and upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast. And then we're going to watch out for an area of low pressure. 
this disturbance here and this disturbance here and how they interact moving forward in the forecast as this low pressure system organizes on Wednesday skies will start to clouds will start to increase periods of rain and snow will start to form throughout the region along our stalled stationary cold front and then by the time we get to Thursday we have an area of low pressure off the New Jersey coast that will produce a period of significant potential accumulating snowfall. Very key point here. The key here is how these disturbances interact with each other. If they're off by a little bit, then this storm is suppressed and well off the coast and we barely see anything. If they phase a little early, then you end up with a rainstorm. And if they phase just right, and I mean just right, a thread and needle type situation, then things get pretty interesting around here for the end of next week. So we have to watch the evolution of the storm very carefully. One thing I don't like if you're a snow lover is the lack of blocking here in the northern Atlantic and the exit of this high pressure system. What you would need is for this low pressure system here with the associated Arctic air to interact with this low pressure system along the coast at just the right time to allow this high pressure system to funnel cold air into the coastal plain to lead to your snow threat. So there's a lot of moving parts here, that's my point. So don't jump ahead, don't get ahead of yourself yet with this storm, something that we have to watch out for the next several days. And temperatures on Thursday, depending on the evolution of the storm, will range from the upper teens to lower 20s for lows and lower to mid 30s for highs. So that's your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at NYNJPA Weather. And as always, stay safe out there.